What's going on? Are you okay, man? Ugh. You're sweating like crazy. Are you all right? Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'm fine. Just got a little dizzy, that's all. That's definitely more than just a little dizzy. Are you sure? You don't look so good. <clears throat> what am... What am I doing here? Huh? What are you talking about? We opened the number two door and walked in here. Don't tell me you forgot. No, no, that's... that's not what I mean. It ain't much, but... I think some of my memories came back. I, uh... I... I think I've been here before. Uh... Ugh. Huh? I said I've been in this room before. You were here? When? Why? Aoi... Lai... Nona... What the hell was that? It's... It's right there. I feel like I'm this close to remembering everything, but I just can't. That's right, an experiment. There was some kind of experiment going on on this ship. An experiment? What? What, what sort of experiment? They were... They were trying to control people. Or... Or something like that. What, what the hell are you talking about? Aoi, Light, and Nona. Those were their names. Well, some of them. Kids that were in the experiment, I mean. I think there were four or five more, but I don't remember all their names. <sighs> yeah, that's right. That's why I'm here. <sighs> experiment. Cradle pharmaceuticals. Those kidnapped kids. Was I working that case? Huh? Wait, under this bed. Mahomes gone? No, maybe it was a different room. There's gotta be a ton of rooms on this boat that look just like this one. Hey, uh, what exactly do you remember? Maybe you could stop talking like a crazy person and tell me what's going on here. Well, it's not like I really remember everything. I've only got bits and pieces, and they're scattered and don't make much sense. I don't care. Tell me the bits and pieces, then. Okay! From what I can remember, I think I was... a cop. A cop? Yeah. I was looking for that group of kids that got kidnapped nine years ago. You remember that, right? It was all over the news. Yeah, uh, I was still in school. I don't remember all the details, but I do remember some of it. I think it was a bunch of kids right around my age. They all just disappeared. Nobody knew why. It was all over TV and the newspapers every day. So you're saying you were investigating it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. And I guess I found something. There was this medical company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals that had something to do with those kids. After I figured that out, I managed to get some information out of somebody who worked for them. I think it was... Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Yeah, that had to be it. That's why I went to the wharf. The shadows I searched the harbor until I found the ship he was talking about. There was a bunch of movement there. Men in black suits, many of them were carrying large bags. Bags. There was something about the way they moved as they were carried. No doubt about it. There were human beings in those bags. I moved before I realized it. I came out of hiding with my gun already in my hand. Don't move. I felt metal touch the back of my head. Drop the gun. I kept digging the cold metal thing into my skull. There was nothing I could do. I did what he said and laid my gun on the ground. Then suddenly, there was a sharp pain in my neck. A needle. A drug. That was my last thought. My 
face it cold concrete. I was out like a light after that. <sighs> I woke up on a hard floor. Damn it. Shit, my head hurts. Where am I? A small, shabby bed, a dirty sink, a toilet with no privacy. I'd seen it countless times as a cop. I'm in a cell, huh? Facing the toilet was a door set into the wall. I was still pretty woozy, but I made my way over to it. I pushed and pulled on it, but... <clears throat> it won't open. Not like I expected much else. Would be dumb enough to put me in a cell and leave it unlocked. Threw myself against the door a few times, but it wouldn't budge. I knew it. I gave up and made my way back to the bed, and sat down. I sat there for a very, very long time. <laughs> Who knows how long. Then, I heard a faint voice. The voice was far away. I couldn't understand what it was saying. But I could hear one. It was pretty high. Probably a little kid. Huh? No, it was several. Huh. I hear five. Or six, maybe more. Where? Where are they coming from? I pressed my ear to the wall and tried to listen through it. No, that's not it. Left. It's coming from under the bed? I hauled on the metal frame and flipped the thing over. And there it was. The bed had hidden an air vent under it. The hole in the wall was covered by a metal grate. I dropped flat on the floor and peered through the grid. I couldn't see shit, but I knew it in my gut. This was where those voices were coming from. Hold up. Why are there kids here? But then what my inside man told me popped into my head. Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I on that ship? <sighs> it didn't matter. All I knew was I had to get to those kids. I checked out the metal grate. <laughs> Could I fit? I stuck my fingers in and grabbed it. And then... <sighs> yeah! How do you like that, you son of a bitch? I finally got the damn thing off. Sweat was dripping down my face. So I wiped it off and crawled inside. <laughs> hey, what happened after that? I don't... I don't remember what happens after that. I think I found some kind of door out of the duct. And I think I found some kids too. <sighs> Not good. Why can't I remember what happened next? Oh, man, what happened to the kids, Seven? Did you save them? I don't know. I don't know if it was me. I just... I've got this feeling. I think... One of the kids died. A girl, I think. Huh? <sighs> anyway, just... Please don't ask me anymore, okay? I really don't remember anything else. It's fine. Don't push yourself. Going by what he said? The children who had been kidnapped nine years before? Apparently, a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals had been behind it all. They'd taken the children to the same ship we're on now. They'd been brought here for an experiment. Seven said it had something to do with controlling human beings. The 16 children who had been kidnapped? Seven had said three of their names were Aoi, Light, and Nona. I think that's all I got. Oh, and, and Seven is, or... I can't really use any of this information anyway. I didn't learn anything about the Notary game or Zero. Why were we brought to the same ship where they'd done those experiments nine years ago? And just what the heck is this about controlling human beings? That's nuts. Did they... I don't have time to just stand here.
is this place? Ugh, this room is really creepy. I think we ought to get the hell out of here now. Figures. It's locked, isn't it? Yep. Don't know why I thought this would be any different. So, what is this room for, anyway? Um... Well, there's a chair in the center of the room. Oh, looks uncomfortable, to say the least. I'd rather not sit in it if I can avoid it. Looks like it's placed over some kind of glass panel. Too dark to look through it, though. This isn't dried blood on the tablecloth, is it? Oh, what the hell is this? What are these tools for? Mm, that's not something I even want to think about. No doubt about it. This room's dangerous. Let's make our search quick so we can solve the puzzle and get the hell out of here. Come on!
Well, like we thought, it's not going to work unless someone sits in it. <laughs> How ironic that this would be the situation in which this slim, beautiful body is useful. Lotus, are you sure? I can sit in it and you can solve. Junpei's right. If we screw it up... <sighs> I'll be fine. Even if I fall in, the shark is already dead. But... No one likes an indecisive man, Junpei. I can still give you advice from the chair, too, you know. I just don't want to stay in this room any longer than we have to. Go over to that screen and let's get this over with. Uh, uh, look, do you think you could do me one last favor? Uh, don't say last. You're making me nervous. Just listen. If something happens to me, I want you to tell my daughters. Tell them that I loved them very much. No, tell them that I will always love them. Daughters? You, you've got kids? Yes, I do. I suppose they're about your age, Junpei. They're twins. I had them when I was young after... Well, some things happened. Their names are Nona and... Wait, Nona? Aoi, Light, Light and Nona. Nona. Those, Those were their were names. names. Well, well, some of them. Some of them. The, kids the kids that were, that were in the experiment. experiment. But what the hell? What's wrong with you? Oh, no way. It, it couldn't. Lotus, is your last name Kashiwabara? How do you know that? Are you serious? What the hell is this? There's no way you're that kid's mom. That kid? Wait, what do you mean that kid? Why are you acting like you've met her? I have. What? Yeah, I... I met one of your kids. When? Nine years ago. Where? On this ship. Why were you... It's not a short story. Look, I don't care how long it is. Tell me. Please. Fine, I'll tell you. I'm... but... And then, that was when. From there, it looked like... Just it, finally. <sighs> That's all I remember from nine years ago. Oh my god. Everything I've been looking for, for the last nine years, the person who had all the answers was right here. Looking for? Yes, that's right. Nine years ago, my daughters disappeared. Then nine days later, they came back. They never told me what happened to them over those nine days. I took them to the doctor, but I was told they hadn't been hurt in any way. Still, I was sure that they had been through something terrible. So I couldn't bring myself to force them to talk about it. If I did, then I'd force them to relive whatever horrors they'd been through. I didn't have any choice. I had to try and ignore it and move on. Oh. Hmm. A few months passed. Gradually, they started to act like they always had, before they disappeared. They smiled and made jokes and... Did all the silly things kids do. It got harder and harder for me to ask them about what happened. How could I ask them to remember that? Eventually, I knew there was no way I could do it. Hmm. Oh. But I'm still a mother. I couldn't simply forget that something terrible had happened to my children. So I decided I would investigate what happened on my own. I would find out what happened during those nine missing days. What did you find out? Nothing. The police pretended to be concerned, but they didn't do anything. Once the 16 children who'd gone missing came back, things were just... Even the media didn't talk about what had happened. I figured someone was probably paying or threatening them to keep their mouths shut. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. No, probably something even bigger than that. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Have you heard of them before? No. It's the first time I've ever heard that name. Seven. How did you find out that Cradle Pharmaceuticals was connected to the kidnappings in the first place? I figured finding out whatever the victims had in common would lead me to the culprit. That's what any good cop does. What did they have in common? Every single one of the kids who disappeared had gone to this one hospital at some point. The hospital was one of a bunch that were under the control of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. The hospital. The hospital. And for a while, I was trying to get some kind of information out of the kids at the hospital. One of them told a weird story. What was it? Have you heard about the Gansfeld experiment? I guess all these kids had to go through it while they were at the hospital. 
I think it was passed off as some sort of counseling. What did you call it again? Oh. This is how it's set up. First, subjects Q and A are put into separate rooms, far away from one another. Then, a series of video images are shown to subject Q, who is told to send the images to subject A by thinking about them. Subject A, on the other hand, is put in a large reclining chair and given a blindfold. With their senses cut off, A is asked to guess what images Q is looking at. Oh, yes, I've heard of that. It's a famous telepathy experiment, isn't it? Hmm, telepathy. That's how the experiment on this ship was supposed to work. The experiment to control people, right? Yeah. I don't know if any of the telepathy stuff really exists, but maybe someone from Cradle Pharmaceuticals bought into it. Hmm. Even if that is the case, I still don't get how that has anything to do with any of this. The notary game, Zero, why we were kidnapped. What does any of that have to do with telepathy? I know I brought all this up, but I have no idea. Maybe none of this stuff is connected after all. Mm. Mm. <sighs> no subject has been detected. Unless a subject is detected within 60 seconds, all power will be shut down. System recovery is estimated to take one hour. If you wish to proceed with the experiment, please seat subject in the restraining device. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, oh, no, that's not what we... Just hurry up and get it over with. Junpei, I'm counting on you. R right. Lotus, please, tell me right away if you feel anything weird. You worry too much. Now get on with it and be a man, or... Lotus, okay, let's do this. The hallway goes to the left. Yeah, but I don't see any doors. Yes, we just need to keep going. Right, let's go. An elevator. Just what we need. Let's take this to Sea Deck. Huh? No one's here. Where did they go? I have no idea. Hmm. Hey, Junpei! We should follow him. I know where we need to go. The door behind the central staircase. There was a sun symbol on the keyhole of that door. And I happen to have the sun key in my pocket right now. This should open that door. All right, time to open this. Hold on a sec there. Huh? We don't have the key for this one yet, right? That's... Oh, it's the Jupiter symbol. Then we can't open this door. Unfortunately, no, we can't. Jeez, the sun door's gotta be just on the other side of this, you know? We can't just stop... <laughs> hey, it, it opened. What? And the others must have found the Jupiter key. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, what? 
Why? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell happened? Clover. Nothing. She's dead. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? The key. Get me the sun key. Why? Why do you think we have to get out of here before the murderer comes back? <laughs> the murderer? Santa, Clover, and Ace. Three people, three dead bodies. That means that the person who had killed them was... No, it can't be true. Give it to me! Let's go! <sighs> Open! Why? What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. I didn't feel it unlock. Oh, no. Is it the wrong key? I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> it's open. What the hell is this? Wait, you mean the door was already unlocked? Why? Then how would I know that? <sighs> Whatever, let's just go. Uh. <sighs> what the hell is this door? I can't see anything that looks like a doorknob or switch or lever or card reader or, or anything. How the fuck are we supposed to open this? We don't have a choice. We're gonna have to go back. No, no, I'm not going back there. There is a murderer back there. But I don't see any other doors. No way. It opened by itself. It's an automatic door? Look guys, I've got a really bad feeling about all this. The other doors were already unlocked, and this one's automatic. We haven't seen anything like this before. Bad feeling? <laughs> We've hit bottom! This can't get any worse. Shit! Hey, Junpei! I can't take this anymore. No one can. <sighs> no. It's a lie. It, it, it's gotta be. This can't be real. No, no. It's impossible. If it's a dream, just wake up already! Someone please tell me it's all just a joke. I, uh, I'm imagining things. Yep, that's it. This is all obviously a lie. It's a big, elaborate trick. It, an illusion or something. Or, or a dream. Ah! Connie! Connie! Connie, hang on! Uh... Connie! Jumpy? Oh, man. Connie, there's so much blood. What the hell happened to you? How did this happen? Jumpy, I'm sorry. I... Uh, I might not make it. No. No way. No way I am going to let you die. I am going to save you. I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much. Uh, for everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. Really happy. Give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. You, you just gotta hang on. All right, Connie? Uh, you... You... Ow, oh, what can I do? Damn it! <sighs> What's that? A submarine? What on earth is a submarine doing here? That's it! Hang on, all right? There's a submarine over there. I I'm gonna go see if it works. No! Don't go! Please! Don't go! Please, just stay with me. I want to be close to you, Jumpy. Connie. Jumpy, did you know you meant a lot to me? I've liked you for a long time. A really long time. <laughs> Jumpy, do you remember? We hung out a lot. When we were kids, we went to the pool. And do you remember? They're all memor- All of those moments are- But I also want- But that- No! Uh, you hear me? Really? Yeah, really. That jumpy, I feel- No, Connie. Thank you. Jumpy, thank you. Connie! 
Connie! Connie! Five o'clock. Thank you. 